Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 Netflix movie The Highwayman. A film that is directed by John Lee Hancock and it stars Kevin Costner, Woody Harrelson and Kathy Bates. And this film tells a story of how the legendary gangsters Bonnie and Clyde were taken down by two legendary ex-Texas Rangers played by Costner and Harrelson um, and I said I didn't know anything about this film Just it's just been released uh, a few days ago on Netflix um, and with a cast like that Kevin Costner, Woody Harrelson and a story like this um, how could you not be interested and intrigued in this story? I mean, Kevin Costner has a reputation of playing legendary lawmen. He played Elliot Ness in The Brilliant Untouchables. And now he's playing another legendary lawman, the real-life uh, ex-Texas Ranger, Frank Hamer. And Willie, uh, Woody Harrelson plays uh, Manny Galt, another legendary ex-Texas Ranger. Um, and like I say, this this is set at the time when Bonnie and Clyde were running rampant around the United States. They were um, regarded as celebrities by the general public. They were seen as some kind of Robin Hood type figures, even though they were butchering lawmen um, and people indiscriminately up and down the country. They were still seen as these huge celebrities and it was really getting out of hand. They couldn't catch them. They were too smart for everybody. Um, so, um, Kathy Bates's character, Ma Ferguson, who's like the governor, turns to two ex-Texas Rangers, retired ex-Texas Rangers. Well, essentially, Kevin Costner's character, Frank Hamer, originally, um, is approached and asked to come out of retirement and track down and kill um, Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, he initially isn't particularly interested and then he realises the chaos that they're causing. He feels like he has a duty to do this. Um, so he goes out and recruits his old acquaintance, Woody Harrelson, Manny Gaunt, to help him on his way. Now, the majority of this film is actually them doing their investigation, travelling up and down the country, um, investigating uh, Bonnie and Clyde, the places they hit, the places they go to, trying to question people. Um, but they've only got limited authority because they are no longer Texas Rangers, but at this point the Texan Ra Texas Rangers have been disbanded and they didn't exist anymore. So they were classed as highwaymen um, and they only had limited jurisdiction in the US. So some, gov some um, states wouldn't even let them in, at, uh, even though they were trying to help and track them down. So they were hindered by uh, lots of red tape. Um, they were hindered by investigating agents who were up with the current technologies. You know, by this point they were using fingerprint technology and tapping, um, tapping wires, all this kind of stuff. And, and they were still going, um, Kevin Costner's character and Woody Harrelson's character still going on gut instinct and uh, common sense and years of experience to track them down. So that's it, much of this film is them doing the investigation. Now, to some, this film will be too slow-paced. Because this film is not an action-packed film. Far from it, actually. Um, and it's not what you would call a gangster flick. In fact, Bonnie and, in fact, Bonnie and Clyde are barely in this film. Um, you you hardly see them. This film is essentially just Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson. Um, and I think if it had been any other actors, or certainly less interesting actors, actors, this film would not have worked. But because it's Costner and Harrelson for the majority of the screen time of this film, it really does work. Because they are such tremendous actors, and they've got great chemistry in this film it draws you in and it engages you and it brings you into their investigation and you see the frustrations of them confronting their past because you know they're not innocent men in a sense of the things they did as Texas Rangers which is why they've been asked to do what they're doing now uh, so they've got to kind of live up and confront their past because they're uh, they've got bloody hands but um, 
Frank Hamer, Kevin Costner's character, is determined to get Bonnie and Clyde because they're getting out of hand and he's seeing the innocents that they are killing, so he, he really is getting very frustrated by it all. Um, and it's just littered with fantastic performances and great intrigue, and I, I really, really enjoyed this film. I don't think it's for everybody, and please, people, if you're going, to, if you're interested in watching the film, don't go into it thinking you're watching some kind of gangster flick. It has them elements to it, uh, but it's essentially it's a true, true life story of how Bonnie and Clyde were tracked down and killed. Spoiler alert, guys, they were killed in such brutal fashion. Um, it shocked me as to how brutal they were taken down, but it had to be done. And in fact, there's an absolutely brilliant scene in this film between Kevin Costner's character and William Sadler, the great character actor William Sadler, who plays Clyde's father. And there's a, there's a good 10 minute scene between them two that is on par with the De Niro Pacino scene in Heat. A brilliant exchange between father and the law in regards to a father having to face up to the evil that his son, the evil person his son has become. It's fantastically done. And I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Um, and I, I'm, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, but I don't think it's for everybody. I think some people might watch this and think, this is just not for me. It's too slow. And it's not. it might not be what you expect, because it's not a thriller minute. It's not an action flick. It's not a gangster flick. It's like an investigation film. Um, but I've got to say, I really enjoyed it. And they even give you some um, historical film footage at the end of you know Bonnie and Clyde's funeral and some information about how many people attended the funeral because they were seen as celebrities really fascinating stuff so I've got to say I, I did enjoy this film so it's an 8 out of 10 for me and I do recommend it if it's a story that interests you so thank you very much for watching everybody I'll see you next time on Screen Stars